everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to Carol's Daily Sauce. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to be reminded of all the videos I upload. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you, all of the new ones, all of the ones that have been around a while, and welcome to all of those who have just came on aboard and to all of those that are coming. Today, I am going to be discussing with you all, excuse the yelling and the hollering in the background. We have a school in the back of us and we also have dogs who don't like all of the screaming. So that's what you hear. But the word that we are going to be discussing today is affectation. I had never really even heard of this word, but the meaning of the word is when our behavior, our speech, or even in writing, if any of that is artificial or if we're using it to impress others. So basically what we're doing is we're being fake, okay? I always say we're because I don't ever want people to come to me thinking that I'm just trying to throw everything on everybody else. I don't live an affectatious lifestyle. So basically, in layman's terms, affectation is straight up being fake, phony, and just not yourself. That That's just it. You are not being true to yourself nor to anyone else. I became, or we became, my husband and I, became informed of this word while we were watching a pastor. We were listening to a pastor on the TV. And when he mentioned, many of you all are walking in the spirit of affectation. And I was like, what is that? So me and my husband, you know, here we are picking up our phones, trying to see what this man was talking about. He said, you need to be true to yourself. He said, many of us are hurting, we're lost, and unfortunately you won't be able to heal because you continue living a lie and you're believing your untruths. So I was like, you know what? That's a really, really good word that I can use as the word of the week. So in my discussing this word, I will have a few questions in between. So here comes one. Why are people so consumed with impressing others? We want to impress others with our looks. We want to impress others with our cards. We want to impress others with our significant others, with our jobs. You guys know what? Honestly speaking, if I get in front of the camera or when I go out about my day, it is not my concern to be trying to impress anyone. I am always 100% me. I don't have a need to be phony to anybody because I don't feel like I need to be impressive to anybody. People are so consumed with impressing others, so much so that you literally deny others the chance of getting to know the real you. The real you, I am sure, is probably so much more better than this fake person. It is so much easier, I know for me, to be my true authentic self. I don't wanna be stuck in the spirit of affectation. What people need to realize is that all of us go through things. All of us have situations and circumstances every day, every week that we have to go through in life. We do, but you can never heal properly if you walk in a lie or you live a lie. So many people are caught up in every situation that they have being someone else's fault. What I found out a couple of years ago I kept finding myself falling into the same situation. When I finally opened my eyes and found out who and what the true problem was, that is when I began to heal. So when I have situations that go on with me, I may feel a need or a want to put them on other people, but growth causes you to first look at yourself. There is so much healing in being truthful with oneself. 
You guys, I apologize. I still have a scratchy throat. I still look a mess. My body still aches. Hence one of the reasons I'm on the voice recording because I'm actually dressed, but just not 100%. So I apologize. Just think, while you are lying, living this fake, pretentious life, you have to work extra hard every single day, every millisecond of the day, trying to stay on top of the next lie. So why would you put yourself in that situation, living and walking in affectation, just to cover up one lie, to cover up another lie, to cover up another lie. Instead of using affectation or your artificial fake and false means in your speech, in your behavior, in your writing, try being yourself. There is absolutely nothing wrong with your authentic true self. And if in fact you find something wrong with your true authentic self, what are you going to do to change that? I would never want to live a life where every problem and every situation that I had is someone else's fault. You're not being true to yourself. Everything going on in your life is not someone else's fault. It's actually yours because you're not doing anything to change it. Let me tell you a secret. The really sad thing about people that walk and live in this affectation society world most of the time they know they fake they know they're fake they know they're liars they know they're living in untruth people have artificial things that they lie on they lie and have artificial looks artificial personalities I mean literally people can see the fake and phony and the uncomfortable that you have when you're faking. Some other words that fall along the lines of affect affectation are facade, pretentious, and more than anything, affront. So please do not find yourself living, leading, or being in a affectatious lifestyle. Hopefully this word right here has been very enlightening to some of you. And if in fact you are living an affectatious lifestyle, if you're living a fake, phony life, get your life and start living in your truth. Thank you so much for tuning in to Carol's Daily Sauce. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell to be reminded of all the videos that I upload. I know sometimes when I do these videos, a lot of people are like, you know what? She gets on my nerves. I'm not worried about that. I'm truly not. Sorry, you don't have to look at it. You don't have to listen to it. You don't have to do anything over here at Carol's Daily Sauce that you don't want to. You really don't. Because I'm gonna do me, whether you come here or not. But I am gonna do my words of the day and if they crunch your toes, pop, pop. Talk to y'all real soon. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>